I'm Alex, I work at Osprey Boats. I've been here for about 12 years now. I uh, build aluminium trailer boats. I'm one of the fabricator welders. Uh, so we've got 11 people working at Osprey. Currently working on boats towards the boat show, which is up north in Auckland. So we're making some new models, take them up there. So pretty much new design, straight up, like pretty much from the bottom of the boat. That's pretty similar still, but we've made them a bit wider, a bit longer. From there, I've redesigned the sides, redesigned the console, seats, everything pretty much. The smallest one of the new models is a 380, which is about, about 3.8 meters. And then the biggest one is, well, the biggest one we're doing is 750 for the boat show. But the biggest one of the new models is a 515, which is just over 5.2 meters, I think. We make boats that are hard top, so they've got an aluminium roof on them, just to protect you a bit more from the elements. Sometimes they have doors on the back as well, if people want that, so you can be enclosed in. Really nice view and a bit, bit bad weather. And a lot of them get like toilets on the inside, so do them sometimes with showers on the outside, a bit less common now. Some of them get fridges even. Some of them get a little stove, a little sink out the back as well. Some of our biggest customers are Maraha Water Taxis. I don't know the number of boats we've made them, but it's quite a few. I think we've got another one on the works them this year as well. Maraha Water Taxis are very commercial use. They usually get stacked up with about anywhere up to like 16 people usually. They drive out all across Abel Tasman. We've got heaps of boats operating. So the water taxis, they go out in pretty rough weather a lot of the time. They take lots of bags, lots of people. They pretty much just launch from the beach as well and then launch back onto the trailer. So you just hop on the boat at their office and then go for the ride. Yeah, this is a pretty rough on the boats, obviously, because they're commercial use. They get pretty hammered, but they usually hold up pretty good. Our latest machines we have are the Strata 320 ACDCs. We've got four of them now. So we've one maybe three years ago. Since then, found them pretty good, so we just got another three. It's quite hard if we, or it's hard to make the boats in a timely manner if we have downtime with welders breaking. So these stratas have been really good because they haven't broken down once yet. So we've got deadlines to on the boats. So we got to get our boat ready to get painted by a certain date. And so if our welder breaks and we can't weld something, we can't paint it. Then we're holding up the customer at that point. So machines are just always pretty much on. We come to work, we turn the machines on and people start welding straight away. Some people start making small parts and then welding straight away. I didn't really know anything about stratas until we got one. And then from there, they were just great, so we just kept getting them. Haven't had any issues with them. People like the, how you can just pretty much just change the settings just by pressing the button once. And so on these stratas, the key thing, we don't do too much stainless, but when we do, it's nice to just be able to press the button, just change it straight to stainless. That's quite handy. Changing the high frequency is quite useful in case if we want to do like a slightly bigger weld or a slightly smaller weld on thinner or thicker material. So we have a thumb roller on the handpiece, and so that is like variable amps, so we pretty much just turn the thumb roller on and then we just go for whatever temperature we're looking for most of the time. Unless we're doing stainless, but because we're welding different material thicknesses to different material thicknesses all the time. So with aluminium, the more times you heat it up, the more times it warps and distorts. So you really want to get it right first go. And also if you get it looking good first time, it's always the most satisfying for you and the customer. Try to do that easy. I'll say they do it just as well as any other welder, if not better. So we've got Millers, we've got Another brand I don't know, it's but older one, we've got Kempis. They're all pretty good, but since we got Stratas, just stick with Stratas, work great. Reliability wise, I don't think we've taken one welder back yet and they're getting used here. Like, they're almost getting abused. People ever approach me about which TIG they want to buy, I'll tell them Strata, be the first one to go for. Especially if you're after a three phase one, 